any chance he gets. Michael referred to Chris as white trash. What do you say about him? You call him a slave driver? Did I've never, I have never stop, referred stop. to Michael as white trash. You did. Stop. You call him a slave driver? Well, because he, because white he trash? drives his slave. I want you to stop. So right you calling me a slave? No. Bitch, you no. can't get it straight no. to say you're oh, Sound like that. Well, then you need to clean your ears out and listen. <laughs> I said, You're the one screaming you said, now. I'm not screaming. I have yeah, a loud voice. Oh, my God. My ears You're are hurting. Hurting. No, I'm not. Bring it down. You are. Your white fragility is killing me right now. Don't go after her race. This we don't go after fragility. your race. Just, I wish you would. Please do it. Oh, we wouldn't Please even go close to it. I know you wouldn't. What does my race have to do with anything? You're an angry woman right now. That, that I never referred to your color. No, you didn't have to. You didn't have to. Our dear friend Leah McSweetie, not five minutes ago, storms off in a mad dash, and we don't see her ass no more. And nobody called Leah angry. I simply take a visceral response to something that felt deeply personal and painful to me, and I'm immediately called angry. Tell me it's not about race. This girl is super ghetto. She has huge Donkey Kong lips. Just imagine, okay, a face with two pillowcases as lips. She wore single braids and every time she would swing her hair, a braid would fall out. You see that braid that's just lingering around your neighborhood? Yeah, it's probably her. Everybody's got a skeleton in their closet. Yes, they. My family, it all just happens to be out there. You niggers! The fucking hoodlums broke poor bitch from the concert. Public school building. You thought I was a gangster when I first interviewed you. Well, at first I thought maybe you were a gang member. Yes, you look like you just got but, out of a car but, from South Central and that you might, like, pop me. But everybody wears tat everybody has tattoos. No, but you look shady. And what makes her think he's a South Central gang member? Because of the, his tattoos. Justin Timberlake's South Central gang member? What ethnicity is John? John is from Hawaii. So, not white. Someone told me that you said that I should have never brought race into this show, that this show is not that kind of show. I would never say that, by the way. I don't know that. Garcelle, you have it out for me, and I want to know why. I don't have it out for you, Why? Rena. The race thing really bothered me. I, but like I that. never said it. So where'd you get it? I'm not saying a word about that. Black folks, we don't need to be fighting on TV like that. It's enough of that type of TV, <laughs> reality TV. And why do you do that? Why do you think that the black folks fight so much on TV? When you are an oppressed people, it's very easy to join with other forms of oppression for your own perceived survival. The only person that wins is white supremacy. We all I understand. Want what's right but the in this difference world. is Ramona. We all do. Yeah, the we only do. difference is I have paid the price. We've There's, all paid the price. No. How about when I went to college, the Jewish people hated me. Wait, Wait Jewish people. Jewish, I came to New York and Jewish people it. like did, they, want, they shunned me. They shunned me because I was Christian. Excuse okay. me. I was we'll talk about that in a minute. Ramona. I was discriminated. Okay, I Adam, felt like, I, why wasn't I Jewish? Do you understand? Please listen to the blacks and Jews. What about you? I'm not so eloquent. This won't even fit my body. Kim, you can ball up. Look, look, I'm taller than you. Get your nappy ass. How old is it? It's like the Motel 6. Sweetie, call Delta. I'm going home. We're not going to complain this whole trip. Sweetie! Calling your husband for attention. Uh, Diana, are you talking Michelle. to me? I met Diana. Oh. No, I'm Michelle. Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Oh, I get my help wrong. She says she gets her help wrong. It's 2020, honey. Nobody's the help. It's derogatory and it is demeaning. Yeah. You have nothing to do with this. Yeah. I don't no, know. No, you no. Check I know you're the baby. She, right, right. I'm not your baby. Who is this man? Don't you help? You don't tell the guests to shut up. You have this very unusual look, which I love. Thank is you. it in, there's Indian? No. No. There's actually Swiss, Dutch, and Portuguese, and Silanese. It's a real mongrel of, um, of a woman. The whole house is just so manly and dark, and it's like a cave. All the wood's dark. The walls are dark. You're dark. Eddie feels very at home in a Mexican restaurant, and it definitely brings out Eddie's inner beaner.
<laughs> I don't want to go to Sean's barbecue. I don't feel like it. I don't want to sit around with Mimi and eat chicken. <laughs> I'm not going to treat you with kid gloves and white fragility you because you're a strong white woman. Yeah, and you're a strong black bitch. Mine is called Cheeky. You're going to be called Honey. Honey. I don't know if Honey's the right name for that shit. Call it Black Bitch. I heard her say something like that's pretty severe. Everyone likes a little bit of Black Bitch in their dolls. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You didn't really have that same respect for me when you were saying things about me on social media. Very nasty stuff. But we were not in a good place. The nature no. of this is very sensitive. Yes, and that's what you seem to forget. And you, no, you don't. I do understand. No, you don't. He is a Native American warrior. I thought we weren't doing that no more. Like, I knew that this girl was crazy, but add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. I mean, I'm really curious to know what are the toupees and the mustaches. So I'm going to need you to become very authentic. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Then you can put your little your little uh, poncho on. Oh my god. Yes, honey. Really? You could have saved it. What the hell are you doing? I am in there trying to feed the baby, read resumes for a nanny because we're in dire need of one, clearly. And you sunbathing? What are you doing out here anyway? You don't need a tan? The swimming oh, pool. Indoor pool. Well, you don't need sun, so that's perfect. If I was black, I'd have one inside my house too. I feel there's been some comments made by a certain person about you. my race and my accent. The we were taught by team. nuns with an English accent. Well, it didn't work, oh, darling. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hear your little opinion because oh, really? you've got a really big opinion. I'm not interested. Ah, you mean big or little? Or... Which one is it? Big or little? Oh, it's big or little. Yes. I don't know, What's chicken hawk. There's Grace Jones. Wow, when did she arrive? We were walking you through the airport. Yeah. Remember the comment you made about this man probably thinks you're, the, you're a native. I mean, when people start talking about accents and colors, they're somewhere between ignorant and racist. Black women don't hump each other like that. It must be a white thing. She spends way too much time around white people. Great job. Thank you. You're very articulate. I don't know if anyone ever told you that. Thank you. I heard it a couple times. <laughs> That's also a microaggression, by the Such way. Such a microaggression that it's insane. <laughs> How do people not know this? Nini, are you ready for this culture shock? You're gonna meet my Asian people. So. I'm excited. I have a pair of chopsticks in my purse, girl. Joanna doesn't like breaking. It's like, Joanna, we're gonna turn left. Uh, where? Oh, wait, Chung Chung. Not Ching Ching. We're gonna go Chung Chung. She goes, that's Chinese. <laughs> oh, I know, whatever. It all sounds the same to me. We've had a lot of people that work for us that are very multicultural. I've had a lot of black and Hispanic and Filipino, and my kids are used to it. I mean, some of the people they've loved most in this world are dark skin. The brown people only help at your house? No. Okay. No, you got In fact, everything. my mother's best friend is black. Awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, Candy's saying I wouldn't hold a black baby. That's awful of her to say, Sheree. That's disgusting. I mean, it's evident that I'm not racist. I've had people around me of all walks of life, different colors. It doesn't matter. I'm not racist. I don't see color, and I never have. From stereotypes, it can be so painful that you can't see anything else. Same I exact am sorry. Ones. No. I am no, not going to do this. I, I am not, I am not doing like. this. I'm going to tell you right now. I am not talking about racial stereotypes when I am... Well, it's easy for you not to. Do you want to talk about when I see dumbass rednecks on the TV? Yes, and that's I want to That's supposed to be that. me? Yes. I also have a stereotype, but I don't want to bring it up. We are educated. We are traveled. It's not insane. It is called so you wanna, Are you one of those people that you don't see color? Tell me you're that girl. I don't see color. Yes, I'm the girl that doesn't see color. And that's bad why. Michael Jackson and I grew up together, and Michael said to me, Kathy, I don't see color. I said, 
Well, either do we. If you don't see color, then you don't see me. I need you to see color. I'm still a black woman at the end of the day. That shows up before my intelligence, before my fashion. That shows up before anything when I walk in a room. And I need you to see that. She's saying that everybody to her is equal. But we're but not. I... We're not equal. What do you Why mean? Aren't we? Because we are not treated equally as you are.